Uh, we must be at Tessa Bjorn's favorite spot, Sheets. I went inside, it's actually a nice store. Um, the baby change table is working wonderfully right now. I was trying to find some place, some shade here. So we are here in Panama City Beach. Uh, I got a little nice Airbnb here. It was a beautiful place. I, I didn't take any videos inside, but it's wonderful. Uh, it's a nice three bedroom. The bedrooms are huge. There's a nice outdoor shower here, which is great when you're going to the beach with the kids. Um, but uh, we did not have any chargers here again, but we were pretty lucky. So we do have a couple of wall outlets um, that we've used, uh, one of them in the garage. Um, there's an outlet over there, so we're able to plug to the Model 3. And then there was an outdoor uh, outlet, which we were able to plug in. Now, we're only here for four days, well, three days, really. Uh, so the problem here was we couldn't, uh, we couldn't do both the cars, charge them the whole time. So, but th there was a plug share. On plug share, I found a neighbor that had a nice 40 amp charger that was charging my Model X at about 40, 48 kilometers. Uh, an hour and that was really good so we yesterday we plugged both cars in there just to top them up because we continue to use the Model 3 for our day-to-day -day drive and we use the Model X for the beach and anyway uh, the cars were fairly well used on this trip so we plugged at the plug share guy nice guy gave him like a bottle of whiskey and thanks but it was really wasn't necessary um, but in this next trip we're going to Sonoy uh, it's actually more like Atlanta um, and we're gonna compare um, the Model X and the, mo the Model X and the Model 3, uh, because the range thing here should be pretty significantly different. Uh, let's, let's have a look at what these cars uh, um, each are capable of. So, um, you know, they tell you that if you have an electric vehicle, you do need to plan things a little bit more. And I, and I was actually planning a lot on this trip because it's kind of an awkward trip. So um, there's, a, there's a bunch of superchargers here, but the fastest path to get to where we're going is through uh, this the Funyak supercharger, which is like only about like just over half an hour away. Now the problem here is um, we're only gonna get, we're gonna get there with seventy percent charge. Uh, the car's at ninety five percent now, give or take, so nearly a full charge. Uh, but we got to charge for forty minutes, and then we're gonna do this long drive here uh, to Auburn, and then stop at our destination at a Holiday Inn Express uh, in uh, Fairburn, uh, Georgia. Now, that's not a bad trip, but it is kind of funny that you have to stop here, charge for a long time. Was If I was charged, if I had less power, they would have brought me out here and then out around, because that's that's kind of the map that I had planned out yesterday, and I was like, okay, we need a bigger charge. Um, and the other funny part is, I'm actually visiting a friend uh, here in Sonoy, uh, Georgia. Well, as soon as the map refreshes. Anyway, it's over here. Um, and originally, I was going to go to a super uh, to a hotel there that has charging over the evening. But I figured, I realized, you know what? I'm going to go up here where I can charge more. And uh, because we're going to be going through Atlanta. And so the faster we get kind of through Atlanta, the better uh, the next day. Because from here, it's about an hour drive to Atlanta. From here, it's about 30, less than 30 minute drive to Atlanta. Um, so that seemed like a better route to go to clear Atlanta's traffic. Um, this next route is going to be very funny too, but that'll be for the second part of this video. Uh, for now, uh, I just kind of wanted to point out that, you know, if we were just staying uh, anywhere, we'd probably pick a hotel somewhere around here that's really close to Sonoy, where I'm visiting my buddy. Uh, but instead, I'm having to pick hotels with chargers, with just destination chargers, and there's like a few here and one there, so we've decided to go to Holiday Inn Express. But anyway, this seems like a pretty easy ride, except for the fact that yeah, this part's a little weird. I drive 30 minutes, charge a lot, and then drive a few hours. Um, so total trip time uh, is just under six hours, and um, it's 486 kilometers. Uh, and that's also interesting because when I had this car yesterday at about 80% charge, uh, that added a whole other hour to this trip because, again, we would have gone this way, charged there, and then gone straight in. Now, the Model 3 has more range in it because of the lighter body, even though the battery size is around the same. And now this is a slightly different trip. I mean, have, have a look at this. It, the path is actually different because we no longer have to charge at this defunct supercharger like we do on Model X. So we're driving all the way to uh, Auburn, Alabama, and then charging just for 25 minutes. And then boom, we're there with 21% power. Um, now look, it doesn't just save you this much time. I mean, it saved us a little bit of mileage and, and basically 15 minutes, uh, which is interesting, right? Because you figure, oh, wow, this is, 
it's taking us a more direct path. But it's only you know 15, 20 minutes. And I got to say, the the uh, onboard um, uh, Tesla computer has been really good at, at uh, estimating how long everything takes. And you know, as we've discovered in previous videos with twins, uh, it's uh, our stops would tend to be a little longer anyway. Uh, but there you go. This uh, having a larger battery or having more range rather will uh, save you more time. And this is not 100% either. Like we're we're kind of close to 95% or whatever, uh, 93 probably. Um, so still not a, quite at 100%. Uh, that wouldn't have made a difference if we went to 100%. We still have to we still have to go this path. So there you go. Uh, not a huge difference, and I think that's the the range. In many cases, is uh, it, it seems like a bigger deal than it is. Uh, sometimes it is though. Uh, but in this case, uh, this car here, it's going to take us about 15 minutes longer to get there because we're going a slightly further route and charging one more stop. Uh, the Model 3. Uh, we'll get there, you know, again, 15, 20 minutes sooner. Now we're going to take the same route because we're traveling as a family, so we're not going to time this out or race or anything, but, uh, but it gives you kind of a good idea uh, the difference between a car that's got uh, 380 kilometers of range full charge and a car that's got 500 kilometers of range full charge. Anyway, uh, we're going to leave in about uh, 10 minutes or so, maybe 30 minutes. Um, so we'll see how this trip goes. Cheers. Well, there, about an hour and a half later than we thought. Cars are loaded up and ready to go. Yeah, just the sweat. The sweat's insane. We are here at the Definiac Supercharger. There are six pull-ins, uh, which is really nice. Uh, there's not a lot around here. A lot of these buildings around here are closed down. Looks like this community's uh, kind of going through a turn downwards. Uh, but there's a cafe down the street, and it's fantastic. It's recommended by Tesla. They have, uh, we had turkey pot pie, and it was delicious with a side salad and potato salad. Anyway, it was really good. Uh, not a lot of accommodation here for the dog, no patios, uh, and not really great for the kids. The, the, the cafe was pretty small, uh, but otherwise, really great location. And, uh, uh, it helps us on our way because if it wasn't for this supercharger, uh, we'd be going 30 minutes out of our way to continue on our trip. So otherwise, pretty good. Uh, one of the interesting things about these uh, superchargers is uh, if you park too close, the door will not quite open. Um, unless you, uh, there's that beep. And whoop, just squeeze this by. This is a little longer stop because of the girls. A lot of diaper changes here. But anyway, we're in Auburn, Alabama. This is a supercharger. Uh, it's a long walk to the bathroom. Uh, it's a very long walk. But otherwise, quick charge. Uh, there's the Model 3, and now we are off. Now, the first part of our trip, we stayed everywhere for three to four days, and so we were able to charge. But here, uh, the second part of our trip, we were really depending on destination chargers, and this hotel had four Tesla destination chargers, but we ended up using this uh, J1172 charger instead, and that's because both, uh, all four of these Tesla destination chargers broke down on us. Uh, this two broke down on us when we plugged them in. There's a little reset button on the side of the destination chargers, but that didn't seem to make a difference, and really would have been a disaster had we not been able to charge, but thankfully we had these two other chargers and we uh, charged to full and nobody else was there, which is great. Another supercharger stop, another two diapers changed, uh, which I, I can't stress enough how much time that saves because otherwise we'd be walking in there, finding bathrooms. Anyway, we're here at the Greenville Supercharger. Really nice little area with a lot of hotels and there's a mall nearby. Uh, everybody's doing great. We uh, drove here almost three hours. We had the car at 95% and got here at about 10%. I feel like I'm in uh, Bjorn, Tessa Bjorn's favorite place, Sheets. 
Uh, anyway, we're here in Virginia at the Sheets. Uh, fresh food. I, I didn't go, I mean, I went inside to use the bathroom, but I actually, it's a nice spot. It looks like it's, it's perfectly made for people that are driving around. Uh, they've got a lot of ready-made food, sandwiches and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, we're charging and our last stop is going to be uh, another two hours north. It's been a long day today. It's been a long drive. Not, not because of charging, but because uh, uh, food and diaper changes and everything else. Uh, but I will show you the, uh, the, the diaper uh, change area is working friggin' great. This thing is saving me so much time because we're not having to go in anywhere to change diapers. Uh, and that's pretty exciting. Uh, but anyway, the car's almost charged, so we're gonna take off as soon as the girls finish eating, which it looks like they're done. Anyway, we'll see you at the next stop. Cheers. Uh, so we're here at the with with the uh, Withville um, uh, city in Virginia, and uh, we didn't have any hotels with destination charge that had rooms available. We ended up staying here, and it was a nice little spot uh, in the mountains. Uh, it was actually really beautiful. The supercharger was you know less than a kilometer or you know a third of a mile away. Um, so we charged in the evening, and here we are getting ready to go uh, uh, continue our trip the next day. But uh, this was a nice stop, and uh, we we had some Chinese food. It was great. It was wonderful. We are at the Mount Hope uh, West Virginia Supercharger and we're all supposed to be here for 20 minutes and then we're supposed to charge uh, somewhere around here at a supercharger but as always the girls uh, took a little longer so we, we got a near 100% uh, charge here, uh, yeah 94% which gave us enough power to hit uh, Morgantown, West Virginia. Uh, we're going to be staying just north of Pittsburgh here uh, at a super, around the supercharger here at Cranberry, Pennsylvania. So. Uh, because the girls took longer, we were normally going to stop here and here before we got to our destination. That probably would have been a faster way to go, but uh, because we were longer here, we we're going to save one supercharger stop and get to Morgantown with about 10%. And that number's been pretty accurate so far, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, so we are at the Morgantown Supercharger. We were only supposed to be here for 20 minutes and we had another poop explosion uh, and that really delayed us. We've been here for like another 50 minutes to an hour. Uh, we found a nice hotel that we're gonna stay at just north of Pittsburgh. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is another Sheets location, uh, which we found the food to be okay, uh, pretty good. Uh, and this is another one of those Tesla chargers that has like a 15 minute, uh, you can park here for 15 minutes and people do, but it's not been a problem. Uh, and so it's pretty good. Uh, nice location and really quick, nicely off the highway. And there's a lot of ICE vehicles here, a ton. Oh my God. So here we are at the Erie Supercharger and I, we've been really rushing to get home. So we did not get as much time as we normally would to videotape anything. But uh, uh, we basically supercharged here as uh, longer than we needed to but not too long considering we had to go across the border uh, and our next stop is going to be Grimsby, Ontario. So here we are at Grimsby, Ontario which is just an hour away from home and I uh, really have to be here. Uh, we've been to the supercharger many many times uh, just because this is near where the Ontario's wine area is. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this trip. Uh, we made it in four days uh, with a lot of diaper changes. Uh, do subscribe and like and keep on following the channel.